Could you say yesterday you weren't promotional and today you're up asking for noise and all this? What happened? Hey man, when I'm in between those lines, anything can happen. So uh, yeah, that was just one of those moments. Um, playing so hard, working so hard. Um, obviously, given the circumstances, I think everybody in the building deserved that win, including the players. So, um, just wanted to, to give us some energy and some momentum going into those last two or three minutes. I know perhaps a third party was involved, but as far as you and Drew going at it one another on both ends, can you appreciate that in the moment, or is it something that you look back on after the game and say, man, that was tough and rewarding? No, it definitely got me going. Um, I think they were showing a lot of uh, attention early on. I was trying to get off of it early, and, and Pascal had it going in the first. So um, just kind of reset at half and just make sure I'd be aggressive. I know that we probably couldn't win without me being aggressive. So um, I got fouled or something late, and I was talking to the ref, and Drew chimed in, and then it was just it was on from there. So obviously he's one of the best in the, in the league on both ends of the floor and, and somebody that uh, I have a lot of respect and admiration for. Um, and he made it tough on me tonight, but um, you know, just happy that we were able to come out with the win. You mentioned that they were sending blitzes at you in the first half, and other guys were, were knocking down shots. How were you able to free yourself up as much as you did in the second half? Uh, I think we just we changed up a little bit of the action a little bit, get me off the ball, scored on some baseline underneath plays, on some pin ins. Um, just shake free and just, just stay with the game. You know, sometimes those open ends will open up if you stay patient. Um, and, and just stay ready and stay confident. So uh, the shots came, um, and you know I was able to knock them down. My teammates set great screens for me, got me the ball in spots, and um, I was able to get a rhythm. Did the shoot change help? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there was not many buckets in the yellow ones, um, so I'm gonna have to figure that out going forward. But uh, the second the second half shoes were an upgrade for sure. Fred, I mean, how much of a point of winning this game at home did you make coming into the game? I mean, I know you want to win them all, but... Yeah, to be honest with you, Mike, not much, man. Not much. Like, um, you know, the way it's been over the last couple of weeks and kind of the run that we've had, uh, I'm just more focused on keeping the guys' morale up and, and keeping the guys together and understanding that it's a very long year and uh, there's going to be ups and downs. And, you know, you come into the season and you say patience, patience, and all of those things, and then you go 2-8 and eight and over a stretch or whatever we went. And, uh, you know, all of those things go out the window. So just trying to think big picture, understanding that we just got to give ourselves a chance to win every night. And um, as long as we do that, I think we'll, we'll feel okay. And tonight, I think that we play well enough to win. And, you know, we deserve to win. The, uh, the plays you were making in the second half, like, yeah, 26 in the second. I mean, is this as comfortable you felt just uh, asserting yourself offensively, maybe since college kind of thing? Like, is this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming together a little bit, um, and it's different every night, obviously, but uh, I think, again, that, that plays into, like, the chemistry of the team as well, you know, so for me to be able to kind of facilitate more in the first and then still be able to have the trust of the team and, and to be able to get my um, offense together in the, in the second half, I think that just shows the chemistry that's building. So there's a dynamic there for sure. I think a lot of our wins look similar, and it's something that we'll have to try to, you know, work on and continue to do. But um, one thing about young guys, when you play a, a really good team, they tend to fall in line. And when you play quote unquote, you know, questionable teams, is every man for itself sometimes out there. So uh, that's a part of the inexperience and the youth that that you got to grow with. So um, I never worry about, you know. The flow of the offense when we play, you know, the best of the best, it tends to find me. I talked about it, but from a player's perspective, you find out 30 minutes before the game that Giannis isn't playing. What's that like? How much of a scramble is it? Sort of adjusts the game plan on the fly there. Not much. You don't flinch in the back of your head. You thank the man upstairs, and you know what I'm saying. You go out there and you try to get a win. But uh, you know me being in this league for so long, like that's something that you don't really show, right? You know the young guys. They they need to understand it. Doesn't matter who's playing. Um, but as somebody who's you know on my sixth season, you can you can appreciate that. But I watched the game last night as well. I mean, I was in bed at 11 o'clock when that game finished. So. Um, I knew those guys were going to be gassed and tired coming in tonight. So, um, you know, it was important for us to be able to push the pace and, and um, you know, be the aggressors and just see how much they had in the tank. But, um, you know, that championship pedigree is uh, they, they fought to the last .7 for sure. 
Do you feel like the defense has looked better than it has recently? Tonight? Yeah, it's getting there. Still some breakdowns and some lapses, but I think you know we're we're getting there. Uh, what was it, 90, 93 tonight? Uh, even in the loss the other night, I think it was ninety eight. Um, so you know, holding teams under a hundred that's that's hard to do in this league, um, and something that we continue to work on. And I think that the coaches have been great in the fact that we're looking at the film every day, and and there's not much hiding and, and pampering going on. Like it's some pretty honest and truthful film sessions, and that's the only way you can get better. I know it's a lot more the game than hitting shots or not hitting shots, but. When Nick is critical of Scotty for not taking threes and then the last four games or whatever it is, he's taken five, six, eight, whatever, what does it say about him? Uh, I think it just speaks to being accountable and being coachable. And that's part of this thing that we don't really talk about a lot. You know what I mean? We are very pampered, spoiled guys, and we make a lot of money. And, you know, everybody in our world is telling us how great we are. But sometimes you got to have people to tell you the truth, and you got to be able to accept that. So whether that's Nick pulling him after he threw that crazy behind-the-back pass or just telling him to shoot more, he steps up, and, you know, he's been – he looks like, you know, he's been shooting all his life, right? So um, just being accountable, being coachable, um, and that's the best way to improve. And we got a lot of we got a lot of like upside to this team, and it's going to take growth every day, and and that's all you want to see. So I think we've we've seen that from a lot of guys across the board. In that first half, it looked like Scotty and Pascal were really finding each other a lot. Did it feel like this is a game where they're sort of taking steps forward and learning each other's tendencies? Yeah, I think it just takes a more of a concerted effort to to find that flow and that rhythm. And I think one thing that'll help both of those guys is getting precious in the right spots. Um, because even I know we're we're assigning him to play a five, you know, it's naturally it's not really the way he plays, right? He's like another one of those forwards that kind of slashes and you know, he can shoot a little bit. So I think if we get his spacing right and get him down there and we're, we're the five in a dunker space and a baseline, I think that'll open the floor for both Pascal and Scotty and um, you know, it's 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 December second, right? Yeah, this this takes time, man. It and I know it's it's hard sometimes when you know we're so used to winning and we're so spoiled and we won a championship not that long ago. But these things take time. This group hasn't played together much at all. When you talk about uh, players being coachable, um, you know what does it also say to take uh, feedback from their own teammates like yourself to to be able to to teach them a few tricks of the game? Yeah, that's 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 the most important part, right? I mean, the coaches they kind of they got to pick their spots. Um, that can that can be. Um, harder to do as a coach, but you know, with, with, in the locker room, we're all equal as men, and we have to be accountable to each other first and foremost. And so, I'm certainly a guy that doesn't hold hold his tongue, but you know, at the same time, you know, if anybody ever corrected me, we'll talk about it. We'll look at the film and see how we can get better. And, and I think that's the only way to to grow. Um, so it takes time. We got a lot of like ranges of experience and youth and pedigree. So some, you know, some of the younger guys, it's, it's going to take some time to get used to, you know, being challenged every day and and understanding that the standard is very high around here. So, you know, I don't know if any of these guys ask to be in these positions where so much is um, being asked of them. But uh, the situation is not changing anytime soon. So we got to continue to grow.